The war in Ukraine is reaching almost a year now. During this time, the West gained a lot of intelligence regarding Russian tactics, capabilities, and weapons. Ukrainian personnel was able to lay their hands on assets like RTU, 518 PSM, self-protection jamming pod, T-90M main battle tank, Iskander M and Su-35S, to name a few. Now, one of the most sophisticated Russian missiles has been recovered. Pictures of what looks to be the relatively intact remains of a downed Russian KH-101 air-launched cruise missile are doing the rounds. As per a Facebook post from the Ukrainian Air Force, the KH-101 was reportedly shot down by Ukraine's forces in the country's central Venetia region on January 26th. Viewers may note that on that day, the country's air defense forces reportedly knocked out 47 cruise missiles, which included air-launched KH-101s, KH-555s, and KH-59s and sea-launched caliber. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the recovery of an intact KH-101 cruise missile in Ukraine is a critical blow to Russia. Let's get into the details. KH-101 is an ALCM, or Air-Launched Cruise Missile. It's 7.45 meters in length and 0.51 meters in diameter. Though its development was initiated in the 1980s under the Soviet Union, the KH-101 remains one of Russia's most modern air-launched cruise missiles. The conventionally armed KH-101, as well as its nuclear-armed KH-102, are derived from the KH-55 series missile. The first known combat employment of KH-101s, which can be launched from Tu-160 Blackjack or Tu-95MS Bear Bombers, was in Syria in 2015. It's been extensively used in the current conflict in Ukraine. A stealthy missile, the KH-101 and 102, is designed to defeat air defense systems by flying at low, terrain-hugging altitudes to avoid radar systems. The KH-101 carries a conventional warhead, while the KH-102 is believed to carry a 250 kiloton nuclear payload. The missile uses a TRDD-50A turbofan engine, giving it a cruising speed of Mach 0.58 and a maximum speed of Mach 0.78. It has an estimated flight endurance of around 10 hours and has cruise altitude of around 6,000 meters. The range of the missile is reported to be around 2,800 kilometers or 1,740 miles, although unconfirmed reports by the Russian Ministry of Defense claims its maximum range is 4,400 kilometers or about 3,745 miles. The KH-101 can be guided to its target via satellite or inertial navigation, or both working together to improve accuracy. It also has a radar-based terrain contour matching TURCOM, capability to allow it to fly to the target at a relatively low altitude. On top of all this is the OTBLESK-U. This is a digital scene matching area correlation DSMAC system which uses an internal database of relevant terrain imagery to check against to help guide the weapon to its targets. These systems make the missile to be capable of flying at treetop levels around 30 meters to 60 meters, making it harder for enemy forces to detect and intercept. Some sources report that this missile has a CEP of just 5 meters. Such accuracy is sufficient to hit infrastructure targets. The missile is also loaded with specialized expendable countermeasures. As evident, KH-101 is a pretty sophisticated missile. It's actually one of the most lethal cruise missiles in the world. It's not hard to perceive that it will be extremely useful for Western intelligence when they get hold of this sample as it's in a relatively good state. Special attention will be given to exploring the countermeasures present in the missile. The case is likely to be similar to Su-35S. Specialists from the Ukrainian Air Force were able to recover critical and previously secret pieces from the Su-35S wreckage and notify British intelligence. 
As per Express, the secret long-range targeting system of SU-35S has been examined by British and American scientists. The systems were taken to the government's Defense Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, in Porton Down, Wiltshire, England, where British engineers and two U.S. Air Force specialists spent 10 days analyzing them, the report revealed. The preliminary evaluation was so promising that the systems were transported to Nevada in the U.S. for further forensic analysis. Ukrainian battlefields have already been proven to be a gold mine, and there are chances that it will keep giving. KH-101 will add to the list, and this is very bad news for Russia. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.